What is up guys, it's Razor and welcome to the All Bosses video for Roddy Out of Stories. So this is gonna be the first boss. Alright, so first boss of the game. So I'm gonna analyze each and every one of them. So monkey. Gob. Gob's the strongest out of all of them. And then there's Aesop. So Gob, Monkey, and Aesop are the first boss of the game. Alright, so we took down one of them. Alright, so I actually turned down the volume. So I, didn't roll, I forgot that the volume was so high. Oops. So you guys may not have been able to hear me before. If you're watching our boss's video, then after this boss, it'll go right into the next boss. But if you fall in the walkthrough, then obviously the story's gonna continue after this. But, like I said, for the all bosses video, it'll just proceed to the next boss. Alright, so that was the first boss of the game. So all bosses video, see you in the next boss, and for the walkthrough, let's continue. Alright, so this is a boss fight against the Crocogator. I'm going to consider it a boss fight. So a fairly easy boss fight, just keep beating them down and you'll you'll eventually defeat it. Alright, yeah, I took him down. Even with an empty bottle and the default armor is very very easy. Alright, so yeah, this is a I'm not sure if it's a boss battle or not, but Yeah, we already battled the Trents. Uh, the snake's new, though. Uh, King Serpent. So yeah, it's level 31. It's going to be pretty tough. Well, let's get rid of these trees first. Yeah, and the serpent can knock you down. Go ahead and heal up out of there. Alright, took him down. Good job, Gene. Gene the Psychopath. Pretty much. Alright, so we get to a boss fight against the Yellow Rat. I don't know what it's called exactly. Let's examine it. A Tawny Rat. So it's level 26 with 1088 HP and it can cause confusion and poison.
Go ahead and take it out. Yeah, it can poison you like I mentioned earlier. It, yeah, it's already poisoned Daniel and Jack. Oh great, we're confused. Gonna wait till the confusion wears off. They may take it out before I get unconfused. There we go. Let me go ahead and heal up Daniel there. Gotta heal up myself too. So you gotta be careful though because your party members will attack you when they're confused. And if you have low defense, they can just outright defeat you if you're not careful. But yeah, on to the next boss fight for the All Bosses video. I'll be honest, Joe Quill is one of my favorite characters in this game. Okay, they got question mark HP. And so does Elmo. And the battle just automatically ends after a while. So just keep fighting until the battle ends. Alright, so yeah, we gotta battle him again. And this time we can actually see their HP. So this time we can actually defeat them. I'm gonna analyze them first, though. Take out the big guy first. Now uh, keep in mind that they can steal your items too. So you got to be careful about that. I'm not sure if Joe Quill can still, I believe he can, but I do know Elmo can, so you got to be careful not to get your items stolen. If they steal something valuable, it may be best just to reset your game. So just keep that in mind. And this is a boss fight, so it will be in my all bosses video. Even though the regular battle theme plays, it's still a boss. 3200 HP. And all I have is empty bottle equipped. This is going to be rough. Let's go ahead and do limit break here. I believe you can't poison it. So if you have any powders, or it might be immune to poison, I don't know. Uh oh. The bad thing about confusion is you can't use items or anything like that, so you got to be careful. Uh, you can still attack it when you're under confusion, but you just won't be able to use items or anything like that. Yeah, it can also blind you too. Blinding, getting blind, the blind status in this game's bad because it reduces your damage. Attacks are fairly easy to dodge though. And it can go down like this and you can just wail on it.
I'd be doing a lot more damage if I had a better weapon though. But you see why I mastered Berserker now. If I didn't have Berserker, I'd probably be doing like 10 damage to him. Or 10 damage to it. And also you notice I don't have a party either, so... When it shoots the bomb like that, you can just wail on him. I don't think I have any cure drops. So we gotta use a sage. I gotta buy more cure drops. Are we almost getting it? It should be just about dead. I'm getting close. Yep, 800, 800 HP left. Watch out for the bomb. Come on, confusion, wear off. Are you going to wear off or not? Yeah, just keep circling around it and bashing on it when it drops down to its knees and and you'll eventually take it down just like that. If I could beat it with an empty bottle, you could beat it with a better weapon a lot faster. So anyway, next boss fight and the walkthrough continue watching. And we get into a boss fight against this giant mud monster thing. And unfortunately I do not have any analysis balls. I forgot to buy some. Can we poison this thing? Might as well use box link. We'll be able to take this thing out pretty fast. And keep in mind for with links, if one of your characters gets hit with a status ailment status ailment, it'll automatically break. But anyway, that's a very easy boss fight, especially if you have Gerald and Nocturne in your party. Alright, so this boss fight is against two of these things, and I forgot to buy more analysis balls again. I keep forgetting about that. So alright, let's take, out, take them out one at a time. Alright, so let's use power injection. Okay. 
increase our damage we take him out quicker all right took him down they're obviously very easy if you have Gerald and Knock turn around and you get two life berries as well so yeah, this is Gobble Hope 9 and he can essentially raise the bone goblins from the from the grave he's I guess you could say he's like a necromancer or whatever I'm not really sure if he is or not but But let's go ahead and use power injection here. So it's level 30, or he, it's level, yeah, level 30, and it has 1650 HP. And it doesn't have an element or any special. Uh, I can teleport around the map, though, so you gotta. You gotta try to keep up with it. I didn't mean to use that, I meant to use power injection, but whatever. They keep going after the little goblins instead of going after the boss. But we got them. It wasn't really a tough enemy, but... It's pretty annoying how it looks like dodge uh, teleports around the map and all that. Alright, so about to be the boss fight. It's this cracking thing. Okay, so you can... It's an octopus. Tra trap octopus. So in order... Now we have to kill all its tentacles, so let's go ahead and get to work on doing that. Take them out one at a time. And then we can attack the body. Uh, this, this octopus can blind you as well, so you gotta be careful. Alright, attack the body. Oh, no, I got blinded. Yeah, if you get blinded, just remove that immediately, because... The blind stats in this game is really bad. It lowers your damage. Let's go ahead and do power injection here. Stop attacking the tentacles. I want to attack the octopus. Stop. I'm going to go ahead and analyze this thing too. Analyze the body. The body has 3000 HP. And as you can tell, the tentacles regenerate, so. Here 
Yeah, 300 damage, that's not a whole lot. Man, it'd be nice if I stopped getting, stopped getting blind. Yeah, Bond is really annoying. That's why I'm saying this boss is a very annoying because of that. No, I have his empty bottle equipped. It's really bad. Let's go ahead and do limit break. I mean, 200 damage is a bit. Oh, he got it. Nice. For defeating you with 4,800 EXP, 4,500 Daggles, and a Strength Berry and a Leviathan. Which I'm obviously going to sell the Leviathan since I can't equip weapons in this playthrough. So I'll just go ahead and sell that. And I'll use the Strength Berry after this battle's over. Alright, so we get into a boss fight against Leonard and Natalie. Or actually, I think it's just Leonard. Oops, I didn't mean to examine myself. Yeah, it's Leonard and Natalie. So Leonard's level 29 with 1000 HP. And Natalie's level 34 with 1000 HP as well. 1000 plus HP. Take out Leonard first. Go ahead and use power injection. Boost my damage. Gotta keep my HP up too. Yeah, keep in mind they'd already be dead if I didn't have an empty bottle equipped, so it's just something to keep in mind. Like a lot of the battles you can defeat a lot quicker than me. Why is power injection not working? You gotta be careful with Natalie though. She's pretty dangerous. Oh, let's see, I wanna throw a powder at her. There we go. She's pretty aggressive. My my microphone keeps moving too. It's really annoying. Alright, there we go, I fixed it. Sorry about that. that. This boss should already be defeated by now, but 
My microphone. Uh oh. That's not good. A uh, quick throw. -a. All right, it worked. It doesn't always work, so. All right, if she's going to guard, then I'm going to break her guard. Let's see, impact thrust, I think. She hits like a truck, man. Especially when I have, only have a default armor equipped. Quit guarding. Alright, let's do a little impact slash. Or limit break, whatever. What game is impact slash? I can't remember. Impact slash. I'm trying to think. Anyway, we got her. Pretty easy boss fight if you take out Leonard first. I uh, get 2,000 EXP, 1,000 Daggles, Glory Edge, and a Strength Berry. Obviously, I'm going to sell the Glory Edge. I think you can. I think you can actually lose that battle too. And still advance the storyline, I think. I might be wrong, so don't quote me on that. But I think you can still advance the storyline if you lose. But I might be wrong. Uh, uh, the little kid beat us. Ha <laughs> ha! So who do you think's the toughest now? Oh yeah. I've got to give my victory speech. I've been thinking about it for a while. What? What are you talking about? I'll spare your life, but you have to do exactly as I say. Exactly as you say? No, not that. No, stop, you horrible monster! You beast! Whoa, calm down. You've got it all wrong. I just want to see you grovel a bit. I see. I, I just assumed... Hey, wait a minute! I'm not doing that either! Yeah? Okay, fine. Have it your way. But if you don't want to beg for your life... You wouldn't! Oh, you evil scoundrel! Sometimes my good looks are such a curse! Well, I'm waiting! Oh, all right, all right. Oh, dear Master Jack. Please don't kill me. Please spare my life. How about... Oh, Lord Jack, most great and powerful warrior. And try to put more effort into it. Uh, I don't believe this. Oh, Lord Jack, most great and powerful warrior. Please spare my life. Nah, that's no good. You've got to be cuter when you do it. Like, oh, pretty, pretty, please. Try that. You're pushing your luck. Come on, I don't have all day. And don't forget the pose, either. Oh, pretty, 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 please? <laughs> what the heck was that? You are so dead. Anyway, I guess it's about time for you to hand over the fort. <laughs> oh, I don't think I'll be doing that. Huh? Captain! Are you all right? Captain Natalie! Is the intruder in there? Uh-oh! You fool! I was just playing along with your little farce to buy some time. Oh, darn. Ha! The tables are turned now. Time for you to get what you deserve, kidnapper. Captain Natalie! You! What do you think you're doing here? Uh-oh. This looks bad. Hey! That's Lady Ridley's kidnapper! Don't let him get away! Get him! Uh, 
Light elves? We figured a human couldn't take down a fortress all by himself. Lord Zane told us to come and keep an eye on you. Make sure you didn't try to run away. Uh, I wasn't running. I'm just making a strategic withdrawal so I can launch another attack. Yep, it looks like you really are trying to take on the entire fort. Well, well. It's not every day you see a human keeping his word. Uh, light elves? What are they doing here? All right, let's get rid of this lot. Huh? Are you serious? Are you trying to start a war? <laughs> that was our plan from the beginning. All right, so some of the light elves are going to join our party here. So J Gil joins the party. Or Jill. Gil, whatever. Ro and Pitt. I like how Gil has the same name as like money from Final Fantasy games. I've always liked that. Kind of a reference to Final Fantasy. Anyway, we get another battle against uh, Natalie Leonard and this time with some guards. That's really annoying. I really gotta heal. I really gotta heal up this paralyzer. That's really annoying. All right, we're off. That link is really annoying too, because they can keep spamming that, and you can get like stun locked. Take him out. Better change my combo around too. Always go with the basic combo because it works the best. I right, broke their link though. That's good. Oh crap. Don't hit me. Please don't hit me. If she hits me, I'm dead. Okay, hit, hit, uh, she hit Shin. Shin or Pit, whatever, I don't know which one it is. We could bring him back, though. Trying to wait till we, to where we can revive him. And then I also want to throw a herb at him as well. Yeah, you got to be careful uh, uh, with enemies that have multi attacks because they can kill you in one hit. Oh god, they're on Link again. All right, broke their link. Let's go ahead and take out Leonard. Now it's three on, four on one against Natalie. Take her out. There we go, got her. I gotta be careful too. I was attacking my own allies. I always forget that I have Berserker equipped. But yeah, that was a pretty easy boss fight as well. But you do you do have to watch out for the Volti attacks. Uh, Natalie's Volti attack. Because it'll kill you in one hit if you're not careful. Alright, so. Boss fight against Gawain. So he's a lot weaker, as you can tell. He only has 350 HP. Over his original 1350. So you can defeat him this time. As you can tell, it hits very hard though. Ow. Okay, I'm going to use my Volty Blast because uh, he's using his. 
I may have to throw some powders at him. Nope, this will finish him off. One limit break finishes him off. I didn't think it would. You get 9,000 EXP, EXP for defeating him. And you also get a mystery berry as well. We get to a boss fight against Jarvis and Daniel. So these guys, they're going to be very easy. Well, Jarvis is leveled up now. He's level 35. And then Daniel... Is leveled up as well. He's level 34. Attack Let's go ahead and use attack link here. Yeah, attack link is devastating. Make short work of Jarvis and Daniel easily. Yeah, very easy boss fight as you can tell. No trouble at all. So get ready for the boss. Yeah, we have to attack the crystals. For boss fight against, or for boss time against the arch demon. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Crystal ball. Element fire. So we have to take out all these crystals. Oh crap, I got petrified. That's not good. Might die here if I don't break out of it. Or no, we got frozen, not petrified. My bad. Oh, what am I doing? I was way off in the corner. What was I doing? I thought I was Jan for a second there. But yeah, use power injection. This thing likes to inflict a lot of status ailments, which is very annoying. I'm going to go ahead and remove that bond because that bond is really annoying. Go ahead and heal up Jan there. It doesn't really matter what orbs you defeat first or what crystal balls you defeat first. Just defeat them. Um... Yeah, and you get some of them demons too. All right. Oh, now I got petrified. Might die here. Anytime you get petrified or f frozen, there's a chance you'll die. Come on, break, it, break out of it, Jack. I'm 
I'm gonna go ahead and use a revival stone there. Yeah, this boss is really annoying with all those status ailments. I'm not really worried about the other enemies, I just want to take out the crystals. And I wish the enemies get off me though. No Alright, two more. Let's see some spirit. Oh, I thought I defeated the red one, I guess not. He likes to spam that spinning attack too. You can see when he's charging up for that uh, beam attack though. Alright, we got him. But yeah, I want you to feed all the crystals, the crystals he automatically does. Get over 10,000 EXP for, for defeating him. Hatred's Edge, Algonar's Castle theme, and a Growth Stone. Get to a boss fight against Elwyn. <clears throat> now this battle is winnable, but I don't think I'm going to be able to win. Uh, because she is a beast. 3300 HP. Level 60. It's like a Mack truck. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to win. I'm just going to go ahead and let her win. She's going to annihilate me. There's no way I'm winning. But you don't have to win the, you don't have to be, win this battle anyway. All right, so <clears throat> take 3 against Cross. I'm going to examine him and see if he can actually be defeated. I don't know if you can defeat him at this point. Trying to analyze him. Okay, I don't think you can defeat him then. Never mind. So just let him defeat you. My bad. I thought you could defeat him. Guess not. Yeah, when their HP's a question mark like that, that means you can't defeat him. <clears throat> I thought you could. Who did he hit? Oh, he hit me. Okay. And we get to a boss fight against Gawain. Oh, he starts off as Volty. Holy crap. I did not mean to use that herb extract. Let's go ahead and use limit break on him. If you hit two of your boulder, you automatically die, so. Hmm, this is gonna be bad. Let's see if we can flick the status ailment on him. I think he might be immune to him though. Yeah, 
Yep, time to, die. time to die. Oh, I survived. So it doesn't one shot you. I thought it did. Might still die here, though. Remember, I'm using empty bottles, so. So I gotta be a little bit careful here. I don't know if he's mean to status elements or not. I can't really remember. Oh, you can blind him. That's actually pretty effective. You can go beat down mode now. I do have to keep my HP up. I want to analyze them too. Let me see here. Trying to think of what I want to do. What the heck? The powder didn't. The powder didn't work. No way. Oh, I bonded him. Actually, a pretty tough fault boss fight, though. If you don't keep your HP up and he kills you with, your blast, with his Baldy Blast. Yeah, you can bind him and all that stuff. Uh, see if we can poison him. It didn't work. I want to kill him before his Volty Blast builds up again, though. Yeah, I need to heal up some. I'm just going to start beating him down. I'm not going to worry about flicking status elements on him. Just my damage is pretty bad because all I have is empty bottle. And we get to a boss fight against Galvados, Bull, and Drago. Yeah, that's right. You got to fight all three of them. Oh, I guess not. I thought I thought you had to battle all three of them. I guess it's just Galvados. So he starts out on that Pateron thing. So we have to knock him off this. He hits pretty hard as you can tell. I need Lufa to heal me. I can use some healing Lufa. And you definitely want to use power injection in this battle if you're um now I'm gonna have her heal up Luca let's check his HP out again and remember this is just his HP of his Pateron too you have to actually defeat him too so after he gets knocked off the Pateron 
you have to battle him as well. And he has a Volti Blast too. If you hit him like three times and then move, you'll be able to dodge his attacks. There we go. Now we gotta beat him. And it, look at that. He has his own Volti Blast. If he targets Jack, you will die. So you gotta try to... Yeah, he's got 3900 HP. Let your when he has his Volti Blast up, let your allies take the aggro. That way he doesn't hit you with the Volti Blast. And just keep your allies HP up. So use it eventually. Is he going to use it or what? Use your Volti already. Jesus. What is he doing? Alright, I'm going to use my Volty Blast then. Maybe it'll cancel his. Let me throw some powders at him maybe. Because he has to use his Volty Blast eventually, I don't know. Oh no. Don't don't do it. Uh oh. Might die here. Oh that didn't that didn't hurt at all. I only did five hundred damage. Wow. I thought he was going to do a lot more damage than that. Never mind. Let's go all out then. Beat him down, guys. He's apparently not a threat. I thought he was. I thought his Volty Blast would have killed me in one hit. Okay, I do want to cancel it though, uh, because I want to heal up some. I'm not really scared of him. If his Voldy can't kill me, then I'm not scared of him at all. I was just worried that his Voldy Blast would have killed me in one hit. Doesn't hit that hard at all, actually. Doesn't even do half my health. Let's see some spirit. 
Come on, we probably almost got him. Yes, we got him. Obviously, you'd be able to feed him a lot quicker since you don't have an empty bottle equipped, though. So he's not that bad, actually. Especially if you have normal gear on. But anyway, we get to a boss fight against uh, Cross and a bunch of knights, I believe. Yeah. So let's see if we can actually beat him first. Uh, why did my analysis bar go off? Okay, so yes, we can beat him this time. So that's good. Let's take out the knights first. Oh, you definitely want to use power injection in this battle. Yeah, and they can link as well, which is pretty annoying. Oh, but keep in mind, Cross cannot use his link while he's while they are link while they're linked up. So, so you don't have to worry about his Volty blast. And I believe they had the Kamikaze link, if I'm not mistaken. So he has his Voldy, but he's not going to be able to use it when they're linked up like that. Alright, I want them to pull aggro because... Oh, Cross is dead. Wow, that was quick. I was going to say I wanted them to pull aggro because I wanted them to take one of my... Or I wanted them to take uh, Cross's Voldy Blast. Because you do not want Cross to hit you with his Voldy Blast because it will defeat you. It will kill you more than likely. So you want your allies to take aggro. And that way he'll target them with the Voldy Blast. And we get to a boss fight against Gerald. And the boss theme plays as well. Which is called a uh, powerful enemy. In all caps. I need to heal up a little bit. There we go. I remember that uh, uh, Gerald has a Voldy Blast so... Gotta be a little bit careful. Yeah, since I'm using Berserker, I don't think I'm going to uh, use my Link, though. Oh crap, don't use that on me, please. If he uses that on me, I'm gonna die. Let, let your allies pull aggro. Okay, maybe... <clears throat> maybe I'll target the allies. Come on. Don't target me. If he hits our allies, we'll be good. Okay, we're good. We're good. Go ahead and, <clears throat> go ahead and revive... Revive Gans. <laughs> Alright, now it's time for my own Voldy Blast. Limit Break. Almost 600 damage, I'll take it.
Oh, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. And we get to a boss fight against Cross again. And he is not a pushover this time. Like he has uh, his Volty Blast will defeat you in one hit more than likely. So he cannot use his Volty Blast when they're linked up like that though. So but we're going to kill the Knights first. And they're part they're using the kamikaze link if you didn't already know. Alright, so now I can use his Volty Blast, so you gotta be careful. There it is too. When he when he readies his Volty Blast, run away. Run to the other side of the map. And kind of uh, put yourself where there's an ally in front of you, too. That'll help as well. Kind of block his line of sight. I'm going to go ahead and use a revival stone here. Use your Voldy already. Cause I want to help beat you down, man. And this is why I said to save your game because it'll be a game over. It'll be a game over if he hits you with his body. So it's best just to play it safe. All right, here we go. I think he's going to hit one of the orcs, I believe. But if he hits me, I'm dead. Yeah, he hit JJ. Good. We got 2,000 damage to JJ with good defense. That's what makes this battle so hard. He's not really hard per se. But if you get hit with his Volty Blast, you automatically die. So it's like. Alright, now from here we just go all out. Use Power Injection and just go all out. Oh yeah, let me analyze them for you guys as well. Alright, he's only got 800 HP left, but he has 2,000. He can freeze you as well. And even though he's used, he uses Volty Blast once in the battle, he can still use it again, so... Oh crap, I might die. Jack, get unfroze, get unfroze, get behind somebody. Block his line of sight. Oh, here we go. Let's see who he's going to hit. Don't hit me. Okay, hit Gans. Good. There's like no way to survive that attack. Uh, you you guys mind getting unfrozen? All right, let me revive Gans. All things considered, this is one of the most toughest battles in the game, besides the post game.
Alright, let's finish him off with Body Blast. Uh, give him a taste of his own medicine. Unfortunately, I think he defended when I used it, so he's going to take half the damage from it. So that's unfortunate, but he might still die. Yeah, he still died anyway. So it didn't matter. But yeah, that battle could be very tough if you don't uh, stay behind one of your party members and let them take the Volty Blast. And it's time for the final boss. Let's see. First things first, analyze. 18,000 HP. And he can uh, petrify, bind you, and curse you. It doesn't say on here, but he can. Al he also has auto heal as well. So you, so keep getting his HP back, as you can tell. So since forty blasts are not really that effective against him, I'm just going to use power injection. And remember, I have an empty bottle equipped, so this is going to be a while. If you time it right, you can avoid his uh, wing flap move. If you if you do this and time it right, you can avoid his wing flap attack. But it's better just to move out of the way. And also, you can't really damage him while he has his. Uh, well, he's like that right now. You can't really damage him. He's in defense mode, technically. His attacks are very easy, fairly easy to dodge. So as long as you have plenty of revival uh, stones, you should be able to survive. But let's keep using power injection. And keep your HP up too. I'm going to have to use a revival stone right now actually. And uh, Gan's got cursed because he can inflict curse on you so... Uh, you want to use a holy water on Gans. Get him out of that. Why didn't it work? Oh, that hurt. Yeah, just keep power injection going. I suppose I should be using um, attack link. I think I'll switch to attack link here in a second. Let me use power injection first. Get back up to 100 volty blasts. Or 100 volty gauge, whatever. Yeah, don't get too close to him either when he's using that, uh, when he's in defense mode, don't get too close to him because um, it'll also knock you down if you're too close to him.
Okay, maybe a tackling's not very good. Yeah, we'll just go all out. Uh, power injection's much better. Ouch, that hurt. That's why I bought all the revival stones earlier. Okay, here's another attack he has. I'm gonna go ahead and analyze him again, too. I believe he starts using that when he's like halfway or something. Well, not quite. Don't worry about that lightning attack. If you're far away, you won't be hit by it anyway, so it's not really... Okay, it looks like JJ got, uh... Paralyzed or something. So let's go ahead and remove that. Let me use power injection again, I forgot to. Nope, don't, don't, don't knock, ah, oh man, don't knock me down. Uh, something you can do, if you're worried about getting knocked down, uh, equip a 100T body, and you won't have to worry about that anymore. If he's getting too annoying, and he keeps knocking you down, just use a 100T body and you'll be fine. Looks like Gans got cursed again. Oh, why did I use the holy? I used the holy water on him by mistake. It's gonna be a pretty long boss fight too, since I only have an empty bottle equipped. Oh, that one attack can petrify you, okay. Okay, I think we're at the halfway mark because the uh, map kind of changed. Let's find out. Yeah, we're more than halfway. Okay, um, oh yeah, power injection. Or you know what, I may just go ahead and use my Voldy Blast. Yeah, 400 damage, I'll take it, whatever. It's not a whole lot, but... I actually want to be careful of that one attack that he does because I don't want to get petrified. 
Uh, getting petrified is very bad in this game. That attack right there will petrify you sometimes. So you definitely don't want to get hit by that. See, I got petrified. This could be bad. Uh, petrification is one of the worst status elements in this game. What is Gans doing? Gans is just sitting back relaxing. I'm going to switch to uh, Berserker. Get some extra strength going. Let's see some okay, JJ got cursed. I'm going to heal that up. Hey, you definitely want to. If your eyes get hit with a status element, you definitely want to cure that. Okay, he's down to 1900. Uh, keep in mind if uh, if you're doing the human path and you have Vitus, um, Vitus actually can use power injection. So you don't even have to use power injection with Vitus in your group. Alright, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Now For boss time against Robotic Star or whatever. <clears throat> so first things first, I'm going to analyze him. Level 35, 900 HP, and he has Freeze and Blaze, alright. He's got a lot of defense though, you gotta be careful. Beat him down. He's on the ground, beat him down. He reminds me of Sentinel from the X-Men series. What he kind of reminds me of right now. Reminds me of Sentinels. We got him. And my party wasn't very good either, so... Look at all that money we got. Got even more because of the two Plutus trophies that I had equipped. We get to a boss against Melissa Mark II. So it's basically an upgrade of the other Melissa. And it can freeze you, so that's very dangerous. Let's 
Are you going to attack me or what? When it goes down to a knee like that, just beat it down. Just like last time. When it drops the bomb, beat it down. I gotta change my combo, that's really annoying. Nope, not today. You do have to be a little bit careful though because if it if it freezes you that could be bad. So you probably want to keep your HP at max. And that's a lot of HP so you can expect to fight it for a while. Ooh. Ouch. Could you stop punching me, please? I don't appreciate getting punched in the face. Yeah, just keep, make sure to keep uh, power injection going and you'll be fine. If you don't use power injection, you're going to be in trouble. Because it's going to take a lot longer to defeat. See how much HP it has left. Okay, only 900 left. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Voldy Blast on it. Oh, no, 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 no. This could be bad. This could be bad. Okay, we're good. Alright, let's go Voldy Blast. I'm not going to finish it off, but it'll be close. 300 damage, I'll take it. Oh, stop missing, Jack, please. We got it. Took a while, but we got it. For defeating it, we get 4,800 DXP and a life berry. I'll take it. Dinos joins the party and we get to a boss fight against Cepheid. Alright, here we go. And I'm paralyzed to start the battle off. That's great. Go ahead and heal up that paralysis. And I'll go ahead and analyze him. Forty nine hundred HP and it can bind you. Level fifty five. Oh crap, ouch. I'm going to equip a 100T body in this battle because I don't like getting knocked down.
Donis leaves the party. And now we gotta fight Safe Fit and G Gil, I think. Yeah. So let's take out Gil first. Ah, Gort Jordan already died. Yeah, Jordan is very low level, so it's going to be bad. Yes. Oh my god, he died instantly again. we got to kill Jill for Gil first. Oh, this is going to be very bad. Oh no! All right, so if I can get rid of Gil, we should be—I uh, should be able to revive him. At least the music's epic. How much HP does Gil have? 500 left? Oh my god, it's gonna take forever. And I might die too. And just for the record, all I have is empty bottle equipped, so. Oh. Might die here. Uh, this is not good. I gotta revive somebody. Stop attacking the... Attack the... Attack Gil! If I can keep Miranda healed up, I should be all right. Cause I can revive us, uh, revive Jordan. Jordan, attack that enemy! Oh God, don't die over again, guys. If I can kill Gil, we can win. Gosh. Gotta kill, gotta get rid of Gil. How much HP does Gil have left? Only a hundred left.
Well, I almost died there. All right, we took down Gil, and now we just got to take down Siphid. <coughs> uh, very tough boss fight, though. Go ahead and analyze Siphid real quick. He doesn't have, I don't think he has that much HP. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. He has 4,900. That's going to take a while. But as long as Gil's down, we should be alright. Gonna have Miranda on hill duty while me and Jordan beat him down. He's not that hard. His attacks are easy to dodge. Just as long as you get her to Gill first. Yeah, let's hit him with a Voldy Blast. Doesn't do that much damage, but it's fine. Should be about dead. Alright. We get to a boss fight against Gawain. We fought him during the non human side, but now battling him again. They're in the human side here. So you can't actually defeat him as you can tell because he has his question mark HP so you just let him defeat you. Come on. Or maybe we just gotta survive for a while. Maybe that's it. I don't know. I'm not sure if it's one of the battles where you have to just survive or and the battle automatically ends or do you have to get defeated? Sure, yeah. 
See what happens. We get to a boss fight against Rocky. Well, I'm gonna consider him a boss fight, but. And it's Jack alone, too. Come on. Oh crap. It's got like a juggle combo, which is pretty annoying. Oh, we got him, though. Pulse fight against Parsec the Fire Dragon. This is going to be interesting. So first things first, I want to get Berserker on me. And I also want to analyze him, of course. No, I didn't want to flee. Or I didn't want to use a flea ball. 7,000 HP. Level 61 has fire and blaze. This is probably the worst party that you could possibly have for this boss. Because Anastasia does low damage and so does Dwight. Miranda's damage is not too bad though. Oh, the fireballs hurt. I won't even worry about using links in this battle because you're going to get hit by a status ailment and it's going to break it anyway. So it's best just to go all out. Make sure to use power injection though. His attacks are pretty easy to dodge because he gives you a warning before he before he does them. See, I saw that coming because he lifted his leg. Check his HP out again. Okay, he's got 4,000 left. My party's very weak, so this would be a lot easier for you. Especially since you guys don't have empty bottle equipped, so. Ow.
Keep beating them down, guys. Two hundred fourteen HP left. Oh, we got him. Phew, that took a long time. Get a lot of daggles for fighting him though. Four thousand EXP as well. Not too bad. Are we getting a boss fight against? Galvados, uh, Bull, and Drago. You gotta fight all three of them. Let's go and analyze them first. First up, we got Bull with Fire Element and Blaze with 2700 HP. Then we got Drago with Fire Element but doesn't have Blaze as a special. And he has less HP, 2200. And then we got Big Daddy Galvados, who we recruited in the non human path. For whopping 3900 HP, fire element, no special. Alright. First things first, let's check out these. Uh, let's check out Bull and Drago. You definitely want to use power injection to boost your attack. If you have Joe Nocturne, you should be fine. If you don't have Kane, don't worry about it. Kane's not really necessary. At least he can use his Volty Blast when he's in, um... And you gotta watch out for, um... Uh... Galvados' uh, Volty Blast as well, so... When he readies up his Volty Blast, just go off in a corner or whatever. Uh, but I'm going to finish off Drago here. Or try to, anyway. Uh oh. Here it comes. Who's he using it on? If you use it on me, I'm dead. Okay, use it on Nocturne. That's good. Oh, I only did 600. Okay. So you can actually survive that attack. Man, I love the boss team in this game. Might as well use power injection. He's probably about dead though. Yeah, he's dead. I didn't even need to use it. Oh well. 10,000 EXP. 4,000 daggles. So, very nice. And we get to another boss fight against Lord Zane. And a bunch of other... 
Light Alps. So Man Lord Zane, he has 2700 HP. And he has Freeze and HP Hill. Okay, attack link's not gonna work. Oh, they actually do quite a bit of damage, though. Yeah, Kane is a very good healer. Yeah, look at that. Already up to full health. Remember, uh, Zane has a Volty Blast, so you gotta be careful. I'm trying to keep my distance from Zane because I don't want to get hit by his Volty. Oh crap. Uh, get unfrozen. Get out of there. Oh crap, crap, crap. Watch out. Run, run. I'm not getting hit. Oh no. He looked right at me when he did that. Please don't hit me. If he hits me, I'm dead. Okay, he hit Nocturne, good. Don't even care. Alright, uh, once the elves are gone, then we can take out Zane. Beat him down, guys. Oh, right, we got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Get a defense barrier for beating him. 15,000 EXP and 1,900 daggles. Not too bad. And we get to a boss fight against Gawain. One on one fight, too. We beat him before. We beat him earlier. We'll beat him again, hopefully. <laughs> It's got 1300 HP, level 53. And this is exactly why I bought them herbs, extracts S S's. Oh, it's like a Mack truck. He's got to power through his attacks. He's going to hit you regardless. I'm 
gonna keep your HP up to as max as possible, though. Oh crap. That was a. I used my Volty Blast and panicked there. If I give him his Volty Blast, I'm dead. Hopefully, this knocks him down. Or defeats him, one or the other. Oh crap. Defend. Hopefully, I survive. I defended. Yes, I survived. Nice. I might die now, though. Hundred sixty-seven left. Beat him down, Jack. Come on. Even if you got him almost dead, don't don't rest on your laurels. Keep 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 healing. It can still kill you. Now I'm gonna go all out though, cause I'm healed now. All right, we got him. Whew, that was close. Glad I survived his bully. Gets the Earth Dragon. All right, here we go. Analyze him. Ten thousand HP. Earth. He could petrify and bind you, which doesn't matter. If you have Nyx, Kane, and Elwin, it doesn't matter because they can't be hit with status ailments. But you have to be careful petrify and bind. He also has ten thousand HP, so yeah. Make sure to use power injection. See, he bonded me there. He also has a, t a tail swipe attack as well. So you see how he tail whipped Elwin? So you, even if you're behind him, you'll still get hit. If you get low, if your health gets low, have uh, Kane heal you. If I don't die, thanks Kane for nothing, man. I about died because of Kane. He didn't heal me. Let's see some spirit. Yeah, that tail swipe does a lot of damage. And he can ground pound, which will knock you down wherever you're at, so... Doesn't do that much damage, but it's still pretty cheap. Let's go ahead and analyze him again. It's only got 500 left. Kill him, guys. I don't think Nyx was doing anything the entire battle. He's in the corner over there doing nothing. Yeah, that was the Earth Dragon. You get 30,000 EXP for defeating him. 7,000 Daggles if you have a Pluto Trophy equipped. And a Fence Berry. So very nice. On to the next Dragon. And now it's time for the Wind Dragon. Eight thousand four hundred sixty-one HP, and they combined you. 
It also has one attribute. That move knocks you down, that wind attack right there. Oh. Uh. And remember, this is only the first form. Because the wind dragon has two forms. Alright, we got the first form down. Now it's going to trans or not really transform, but disintegrate into the other form, I guess you could say. Round two, fight. Seventy level seventy five, eight thousand four hundred sixty one hit points. And I think all it does is that wind attack right there, which does a lot of damage. And that attack, too. Let's use attack link. I don't think this thing has any status ailments, so... That was fast. So yeah, fairly easy. Nothing too special about the wind dragon. On to the next dragon. False fight against the water dragon. Twenty-eight thousand HP, and it could freeze you. So it has the most HP so far. It's got less defense, though, as you can tell. Can go ahead and use attack link on it. Oh wow! Froze me. Look at all the hits. Up to 60 hits. Should be just about dead, I would think. Yep, we got it. I knew it was about dead. The foe is mighty, but our hearts are what? I didn't even get to see what he said in the last line. And anyway, for defeating Kelvin the Water Dragon, we get 32,000 EXP and a Luck Berry. Now it's time for the Fire Dragon! Parsec. I love the boss team. I love the boss team in this game, though. Yeah, the link broke because I got hit with fire.
Yeah, my attacks do so low damage. Because I'm only using the empty bottle. Why is Nick's... Why was Nick's L, I and uh, L in there? That was weird. He's like looking over her shoulder, eyeing her. That's kind of weird. But whatever. Next dragon. We get into a boss fight against the final dragon. The Radiant Dragon. And this thing is not a pushover, even though it looks like one. 46,000 HP. It can com put confusion, blaze, and bind. Yeah, it's worst thing is inflicting status ailments. That's like its biggest threat. It's got a lot of HP too, so it's going to take a while to defeat it. Check its HP again. Okay, so we got it down 15,000, but there's still 31,000 left. Go ahead and do limit break, I guess. A lot of damage there. 995, I'll take it. Okay, now it's going to start doing the status element, atta status element attacks. Which will kill you if you're not careful. And that attack's really annoying. I keep using revival stones. I guess I could just have Kane heal, I guess, but... Let's check his HP out again. Down to 6,000. Almost got it. Alright, we got it. Yeah, it takes a long time to defeat because it's got so much HP. We're defeating it with the Dragon Radiant theme, 35,000 EXP, and a Mystery Berry. Now we get to a boss fight against Karen. Karen Russell, Jack's father. I bet you didn't expect to see him as a boss fight as a boss battle but yep he is a boss level 71 17,000 HP I 
I could probably, yeah, I can use attack link on him because he doesn't have any status ailments. Just gotta be careful not to die. Okay, maybe attack link's too risky. I can't even get any attacks in because my guys keep blocking my path. And I'm trying to be a little bit cautious too because I don't want to outright die. I like the theme song that plays too. At least it ain't a one on one fight. It'd be insane it would be insanely hard if this was a one on one fight. Let's see how much HP he has left. Seven thousand more. Just keep using power injection. I'm gonna have Kane heal. He's trying to, he's going after Kane because you don't want Kane to heal. Kane does not know how to heal. He's like the worst healer. <laughs> Fine, I'll use a revival stone then. Can't even get close to him because he keeps knocking me down. Alright, I'm gonna use my body blast. Maybe this will finish him off. Probably not. Oh, it did. Nice. Sixty-three thousand EXP and a strength berry. Very nice. And we get to a boss fight against Valkyrie. So let's go ahead and analyze her first. So she has 9,000 HP, which is fairly low. Uh, she also can paralyze, petrify, curse, and steal HP. She's level 77. And on top of that, she has a Volty Blast. Which means you gotta be careful. I would say petrifications are worse status ailment to get hit by. And also, you want to make sure your HP is at full to survive a Volty Blast. So, I, I'd actually let your allies do all the legwork in this battle. Because you don't want to die from the Vol uh, Volty Blast, so. She pretty much will always hit you with the Volty Blast, for the most part, I think. Here it comes. Hopefully, it doesn't critical hit. If it critical hits, you'll die. But otherwise, you should survive it. Yeah, see, I survived it. But if she hits me after I... Before I can get up and heal, I'll die. So you gotta be careful. Like I said, I'm just going to let my allies do all the legwork. 
because I don't want to risk dying. Like if she hits you with a status ailment, like petrification, and then she uses her Volty Blast on you, you won't have time to react. And you'll just die. So there you go. That's how you beat her, just let your allies beat her. And for the finger you get a growth stone. And a lot of EXP. So very nice. We get to a boss fight against Lazard. He's a he's a caster. He has 16,000 HP, level 74. He could paralyze, freeze you, blaze you, petrify you, poison, bind you, and curse you. Pretty much every status ailment. I listen to some of his chants too. Fire Zent, Fire Zent, Poison Clode, Poison Clode. He's got some cool chants. Oh god, poison me. Definitely gotta use a cure drop on that if I have one. Yeah, that one's taking a lot of damage. Uh, why isn't... Oh, I gotta use the book. I didn't even use the book. You can't use it in battle either. No wonder I didn't have it. I guess I'll use my Volty Blast then. Oh crap. Alright, we won. So he does he does quite a lot of damage. You saw Ellen's HP get very low. So don't under, don't underestimate him. He may seem like just a caster, but he does a lot of damage. For defeating him you get like eighty thousand EXP, a lucky charm. In a mystery bear against Gabriel Celesta. One of the two super bosses of Radiata Stories and other Star Ocean games. Level 96. 33,333 HP. And he's very annoying to battle because he knocks you down and crap. So what I'm going to do is equip a 100T body. And I'm going to have to heal in this battle probably quite a bit. But I want to save at least some of my healing for the next boss. Go ahead and use a revival stone. Let's 
Try it again. There we go. I must have got hit when I used it last time. Ouch. I got hit so hard, man. I'll go ahead and use my Volty Blast. I should have switched to Berserker though before I did that. Because if I had switched to Berserker, I'd have did more damage. Oh well, not that big of a deal. Go ahead and check his HP out again. He's down to 15,000, more than half. Uh, Owen, you gonna help me or what? Make sure to keep your HP up. He shouldn't be able to one-shot you though. Like he could in the Star Ocean games. Did we get him? Yeah, I think we got him. Nice. Yeah, 81,000 EXP and another growth stone. So very nice. Take three on the Ethereal Queen. Died twice to her. Definitely want to keep your distance. I want to see how much damage Nibbling Velocity does. Elwyn does 2600. Yeah, that's going to do nowhere near that. So Ellen does more. Yeah, 2300. Ellen does 300 more. Now keep your distance from her. At all times. And she'll go after you regardless. So... Try not to use my revival stones till I absolutely need to. Your eyes should be able to survive if you have Nyx and all that. Why does she go after me for? Stop it. I'm over here in the corner. And she's over here going after me. Keep attacking her, get her, get the Voldy gauge up, and I'm going to see how much Sword Carnival does to her.
She felt the need to come after me. Okay, let's see how much uh, Sword Carnival does. Or Sword Tempest, whatever. I bet Ellen still does the most. Yeah, I only did 1700. Nyx is a weakling. At least there's a big arena in this place so you can have plenty of space to move around. Twenty-eight thousand. And of course she's going after me again. Help me guys. Yeah. Man, I would have died there if my teammates didn't come over to help me. When her HP gets low, she'll, she'll use a super attack too, so we haven't even seen all of her, all of her attacks yet. Okay, Ellen, use your Voldy. Radiant Sword does so much damage. 2600. Who healed Ellen up just in time. Okay, here's her special attack. Stay in the corner of the map and you should be able to dodge it. That means she's getting about halfway. Maybe I should have used Iris in this battle. Iris is better at building up the Voldy gauge. Oh crap. Might die here. Nope. Managed to dodge it. Check her HP out again. Okay, she's down to 13,000. Thirteen thousand left. Keep using your revival stones when your when your eyes get down on life, especially after that attack. Twenty-eight hundred. That's nice. 
Oh crap, I didn't know she could hit that far away. Oh no, don't go after me. Sometimes it takes a while to break out a bind. Okay, she's down to 5,000. Come on, break out of the bind. Wow, so annoying. Like I'm mashing buttons and it's not breaking out. And of course she goes after me again. Stop going after me, please. <sighs> Jeez, really? Lady, you need to mind your own business. You got people... You got... You got other in my allies beating you down, yet you go after me. Okay, 1600 left. One Voldy Boss will finish her off. It's at this time. Oh, we got her. Whew. Holy crap. Wow. There were several times. That was the third time I tried that battle. I died the two other times. But I beat her the third time. But man, that was hard. She starts going after you and there's not much you can do about it. She'll bind you. If she does the bind attack followed by her ultimate attack, you just die. And there's nothing you can do about it. Unless you're immune to status ailments. But yeah, beat all the bosses in the game with Empty Bottle. Yeah, I was kind of cheap against Ethereal Queen. I was kind of running away from her or whatever, but there's no way to beat her and be prepared for her ultimate attack. So just use her ultimate attack out of nowhere and you're dead almost immediately. Even if you have over 4,000 HP, you'll still die. So, it's best just not to fight her and let your allies do all the legwork. But yeah, every boss, variety out of stories, could beat with empty bottle. I hope you guys enjoyed this all bosses video. And stay tuned for the all bosses of the other games that I play. Because after I beat a game, I usually do the all bosses video. So, after I beat a game, just stay tuned for the All Boss video. We'll be coming shortly after I beat a game. Anyway, thank you for watching, and later.